Okay, good morning from, or good afternoon from East Coast, Florida and Michigan. I guess we are on the same, same, how do you say, the parallel or the, the, the same line of time. And then we have uh, 6.30 in Albania and Kosovo, so good evening for you guys there. I just want to double check real quick before I uh, bring in the speaker, Greg Green. I want to see if... Okay, good. There we go, yep, I think we are live uh, at almog.com forward slash webinar. This is our very first webinar uh, for Almuk, and it's for the most exciting news that Almuk has had up to date. Um, notice we worked so hard that I have not even shaved yet the last month or so <laughs> or more. <laughs> the, the, it's That's been good. a very... A productive month, yes, and uh, uh, so real quick uh, before I uh, introduce the speaker, uh, for you guys that have questions, please uh, scroll down uh, in the video that you see, you will see a way to insert your questions. I already have, I already see 13 questions so far, so we will go ahead and read those questions uh, probably at the end of the session. And uh, the agenda is that uh, Greg and I will talk for the next 30 minutes, and then we'll open it up uh, for questions and answers. Uh, and uh, uh, be again, uh, before we introduce Greg, Mr. Greg Green uh, from Crimpendale Community Schools, I would like to say uh, that uh, this is a partnership and an exciting news from uh, the Michigan School District called Clintonville Community Schools that have approved uh, ALMOOC to be its accredited partner, uh, which means that students from ALMOOC will be able to get uh, U.S. high school diplomas or get transcripts for their own, uh, for the courses they complete one at a time. Like when you're done, you will eventually get a high school diploma. So without any further ado, I would like to pass the microphone to uh, Greg Green, the superintendent of Pentonville Community School. Greg, can you hear us? Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, Ridvin and everyone, it's glad to be here. We, uh, we're very excited about the project. We think that uh, we're going to have some great, uh, great students to come out of our Almuc and even become alumni of ours you know, with their high school diploma and their transcript in hand. And so, you know, we're a gateway to many universities in, in the United States. Um, we send our kids worldwide to uh, universities throughout the world. And we think that, you know, we surely want to open up that great opportunity for all your students in your LMOOC. I think, uh, you know, why not? It's great. It's great. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot easier to do now with the, you know, online capabilities. and. And, uh, you know, you guys have done, you know, um, a great job in describing how great your Almuc is and the great students you have. And so, you know, we're excited about it. We think it's a great opportunity not only for for you guys, but for us, because we get we get to know some you know, some folks that are extremely talented. And so we're very, very excited about it. Hey, Greg, so let me uh, do a very brief intro in Albanian for people that uh, do not speak English uh, or I'm sure they have a lot of students that have uh, their parents join uh, or other relatives. So let me just uh, do that quick intro and then we'll go ahead with the agenda and talk about the Pentadel Community School a little more uh, and move on to the accreditation program. Sure. I'll speak in Albanian now. Uh, <laughs> you don't have Google Translate <laughs> audio, so. You're fine, uh, you're fine. Okay, uh, uh, Greg Green, uh, in a district in Michigan State, I gendered in Michigan. Um, the first webinar for uh, the Akaterm per webinar. Well, I should have a fun year session upon the sounds live a power up for a local silly webinar. They could do the first thing, uh, mushroom per partner taking a look at me get the stick in Michigan. The sea is a pretty door almost in Michigan State. The shadow for student almost 
si mund të ata të i marrin klasët të akreditua dhe eventualisht të marrin shkollën të marrin një diplom nga shtetit dhe bashkua të amirës, një diplom të shkollës mesme dhe pasaj të vazhdojnë në studimet në shtetit bashkua të qoftë në universitetet ato në një tjera. Që që në tika shkurta kjo është beseda e sodit të ata që në vujitet për këthimi i rrutën në shkuni në poshtë, të ndryshe me do klasën në gjurë angleze dhe pëjtë e në ndryshuar në gjurë në shikën në mund të lecëri dhe për këthej ato për Greg Green. Ok, that was it. So let's carry on. Greg, if you can give us a brief very brief history about uh, Prentonville Community Schools. I know you've done great things with the school and across the nation with the innovative learning methods that you have done for the school. Uh, and you've become the evangelist when it comes to some very uh, well-known learning methods across the globe. So if you can just touch that briefly, sure. how the sure. community schools work and, and so on. So. Sure. Well, you know, our school district is, uh, we have about 3,000 students in our school district. We're a public school. We're accredited by advanced ed in the United States. Um, we've been accredited since 1962, so a long, long time. Uh, we send, um, you know, uh, about 80% of our students go to, you know, go to college, which is uh, uh, quite a significant, um, you know, percentage over the national level. And... And then we also have a graduation rate of 92% within our high school, which is 15% higher than our state average. So we graduate a lot of kids that are very talented and go throughout, you know, throughout the so world. Do you have a direct relationship with some of the universities uh, that they come and recruit kids in, in campus or you have some partnership with some of the universities? Yeah, so, I mean, we have obviously partnerships with all the Michigan universities, University of Michigan, Michigan State. Um, Central Michigan University, Western. So there's a number of universities and colleges right here in the state of Michigan that we re have relationships with. But we also have relationships with universities across the country. Not only do our kids only go to state universities, which are local, but they also go nationwide. So it depends on, you know, there's hundreds of colleges and universities in the United States. It just depends on what you're looking for. And then if you have the qualifications to get in, we can get you there. So, you know, um, just to kind of give you more information, you know, a little bit more, um, you know, we're famous, you know, for our flip school, you know, it's written and talked about CNN named us our high school, uh, the second most innovative high school in the, in the country in America. And that was last year. And so, you know, we're very excited about that. I think, you know, we do some really unique things and that's what brings us to this point as well. Very good. Yeah. So uh, for you guys uh, that would like to learn more about the Clintondale Community Schools, I have put the link of the Clintondale International School, which is a branch of the community school for online uh, high school diplomas. Uh, and you can learn about all of the achievements uh, for, uh, for Greg School and the, and the, the district uh, in general. And they've done some amazing things. Uh, we worked with Greg for the last... Uh, was it almost four years, Greg, right? right? The past two years that you and I have been working together uh, in different initiatives. And it's really an honor uh, for to have Greg uh, approve Almuk. Uh, it took us some time to come to this point, but hey, we made it, and it's very exciting. And I, I believe that uh, uh, just like a lot of people that we're seeing feedback, this is the future. Uh, towards collaborative learning, towards quality learning, uh, learning that will serve you in the future. So um, let me let me see it real quick, Greg. Uh, if, uh, I, I might say a, a little bit in Albanian, just so if they have any questions. Uh, so let me just speak one or two sentences in Albanian, okay? Sure. Um, Atëherë nga do të vazhdojnë me pykjet e juaja, edhe njëherë këto pykjet do të mundohemi t'ju përgjigjmi sa kemi mundësi. Mirë po pykjet do të jenë rrëth partneritetit tonë, almupu me këtë distriktin në Michigan State, edhe që parë janë requirements do t'ju të ragoni që janë prakesat kriteret që ju të 
kyshen në këtë shkollë dhe të vazhdo një studimet për një shkollë që është e akreditua në është edhe bashkuar. All right, so let's see, we, before we get to the, uh, to the questions, Greg, I would like to share the screen and show everybody this page. And then, Greg, you can correct me. Again, this is just the beginning, so uh, feel free okay. to intervene with what the requirements are, okay? But I posted those requirements at a link at Almuk, and I just want you to reconfirm them in front of everybody. And if I made any mistakes, please uh, feel free to jump in, okay? Um, so, if. Uh, do you see my screen, Greg? Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is at uh, almug.com, and if you click at the link, up right corner, and I say click on Ilarte Accreditini, so it says accreditation, that is an Albanian accreditini. Uh, this link will take you to this page where uh, this is in Albanian now, uh, and if you scroll down, you will see the certificate that we have received from Clintondale International School. Uh, and then if you scroll all the way at the bottom, so these are the Michigan high graduation requirements. Is that Michigan high school or is that the Michigan high school? Oh, the, um, they're the Michigan state uh, high school requirements and, you know, and those are requirements that our students uh, need and we would also need our students um, part of that loop to uh, complete because, you know, you're obviously you're, you're receiving our diploma. Great. So, and right below that, I see that uh, Greg, you put this uh, this number, which uh, it backs up what is the Michigan State law according to what we're doing right now uh, in terms of uh, getting a high school diploma, what it takes, what are the requirements. Okay. Uh, so, if you look at this, uh, these are the different sections from the Michigan State law that what you need uh, across the board to get a a Michigan high school diploma uh, and uh, what I've done here I took the requirements from Greg and then I put them in here and showed what we already have what courses that Al MOOC already exist and what is coming soon either from Greg's team or at Al MOOC team so we can complete the, this list of courses and you guys can graduate and as you can see we have a uh, majority of the courses ready and of course, it's going to take for some of you guys time to get to the end. I know a lot of the students have already completed the majority of these courses. So now they need the additional courses uh, that will take you to the finish line. And uh, of course, uh, before we get to the courses, uh, uh, there is a pre-assessment test. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But just so you know how to read this uh, table. There are four, and, and Greg, uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there are four credits for the English language and arts, and we only have one, which is Greg's course. We need another three. Is that correct, Greg? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So we're, we're going to design courses with, um, and that's one of the great things about your Almuc is that you know some of the classes are already uh, complete, you know, um, part of the Almuc. So that's the beauty. When we looked at Almuc, we've seen the advantages of partnering. Now, we have lots of opportunities because of our notoriety and so forth, but we really think that Al Mook was a real strategic partner and uh, showed a lot of favorable classes that compared favorably to us in, in our situation, and that's why we're so excited because you have lots of, lots of classes that you might have already completed. Very nice. Yep. And, and as you can see, here's for the maths. We already have the four credits uh, ready. So these are the math classes. You can click on them, and it will take you to the class inside the LMOOC. And some of you guys, uh, or maybe most of you guys, are already registered uh, in one or another class. So feel free to register for the rest of them. Uh, and then uh, we have the science, which is you can pick any three. Now here we have more than three, but you can pick and choose whatever you like. You want a science and physics, uh, you want science and chemistry, you can pick any of the three here. Um, now I put US history that you guys have built, Greg, for social studies. Is that US, US history or not? What's, what goes under social studies here? Uh, it'd be a US history, uh, it'd be um, US government or civics as we call it, and then also a, a world history that relates to uh, you know, the United States and so forth. So 
Okay. You know, and those are the three courses that normally, you know, high school students take. So U.S. history is this one that has already been developed at the Clintondale International School. So I, I have U.S. government too there, so we can insert that as well, correct? On the desk. Okay. Yep. And then one more. And if you scroll down, uh, we talked about one credit for visual performing and applied arts. This is something that uh, is in the to-do list, or no? I think I think most of you guys have it. I think your computer um, programming courses would fall under that category. And, uh, so we, we can move this here because there's so yeah. many courses. That take. Okay, so those are the applied arts that we talk about, and. Uh -huh. um, uh, so okay. you, can, you can actually maybe you know if you take more than one computer course you can apply for for either one okay so let me I'll, I'll, I'll fix that and I'm, I'm sure we're gonna have an Albanian only version webinar <laughs> in the future yep. so, uh, uh, I just wanted everybody to meet you and then hear from you from the Michigan State and from the school uh, about these requirements so uh, and then we have one uh, so this one we talked about, there's two credits for the world language. Now everybody speaks a second language over there, if not more than two. So uh, if you can, can you elaborate on this and how, how can we get these guys approved for this one? Yeah, so you know, we, can, we can show that they have competency in their world language credits and you know, we would look at maybe having them take a, a brief assessment um, just on some basic skills that they you know, speak another language and we would just provide validation in some way, shape or form. And uh, we would be able to give them uh, credits for their world language. So it's it probably a pretty simple process for most of your students. Okay, so let me ask you this. Now, a lot of the students at El MOOC, they already go to, uh, the, you know, they, they go to regular schools instead of just the online uh, El MOOC school. And some of the students have already taken some of these courses that we don't have them listed here. Uh, but they would, I'm sure they would fall in some of these categories. Can they, through Almoc, of course, uh, can they send the transcripts and then we send it to you so you can take a look at those for approval? Yeah, sure. I mean, we, what we can do is we can look at their, uh, their transcripts just like we would any other student, and we may need a, just a, a description of that class, and then we can look at accrediting um, that class um, for them. So it's a, it's a pretty simple process. They would just provide some sort of information to your L MOOC and then you would forward it on to us and we could look at accrediting that class from that school and then we just have a list for them, you know, so that we make sure that they're on target. All right, okay. Very nice, so I have the rest of them here, one credit physical education. So this is, I'm sure everybody has taken it in their own school, so that's something that they can send through and you guys can take a look at that. Um, requirements we might you know we might have an online versions for you to register and uh, go through some form of evaluation uh, maybe um, but uh, I'm sure a lot of people have this course already in their home in, in their schools um, so r real quick again the courses that exist at our MOOC are the ones that will help you get to the finish line and graduate so you can get a U.S. high school diploma. But this doesn't mean that for courses that you have taken at your own schools, you can send those transcripts for evaluation, okay? So that one, we can still do that, okay? I just wanted to throw that in there. And uh, I think, let me just show the website of the Clintondale School. So, and let's talk about the pre-assessment test real quick, okay? So, and this is something very critical. Uh, I don't think anybody will go into the next step unless they do the pre-assessment test. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. We just want to make sure that you know you're you're uh, prepared. You know before you get there. So you know it's an important step. We would do that with or any student. We assess them coming into our high school to make sure they're they're at level. Okay. So in the pre-assessment. Uh, is really an online test that you take in English and math. And for some of you guys, you might also end up uh, having a Skype interview, five minutes interview for, not everybody maybe, uh, but depending on how uh, the Clinton Day International School staff feels about your results, they might uh, do a uh, uh, oral interview, which is gonna be via Skype and uh, see how your English is, 
uh, I know a lot of you guys are better in writing than speaking, uh, but just so you are aware of, uh, you might be actually uh, evaluated via Skype as well. So uh, the first step, and we put this inside the academies when you log in in any of the academies, it's the same form. So the first step you do is you have to take the pre-assessment test. In order for you to take the pre-assessment test, you can either come at the Clintondale, clintondaleschool.com, and I, I put a link here. Uh, if you go here at the top, it says registro or to qualificar. This means register to be qualified. And that link, if you click on it, it will take you to the same page. And if you scroll down here or here on the left side, it says students start your pre-assessment. That means get started. Uh, you step one is you fill up this form. Now the community district requires a fifty dollars uh, fee in order for to take you through the test, uh, which is in math and English. This is a non-refundable fee. Okay, you paid the fifty dollars before you can take the test. Once you take the test, they will uh, send you the results, and again, they will probably do a Skype interview to evaluate. Now, once you pass this uh, stage, then you go on to take the next course and so on. And I will follow along with all of you guys uh, to make sure that everybody's on track on what they're trying to finish, what course, and then we'll report that to Clinton down as we go on. Um, so, do you have to say anything about this one? I will say this in Albanian as well, but if you have to add anything, feel free to comment on this. No, we, I mean, we just want to make it a simple process for people and, and making sure that they're prepared and uh, they know kind of what they're getting into. And, and I think it's, uh, you know, the, it's not too terribly difficult, but it's, you know, it's just something that, you know, we want to, well, make sure that we evaluate everybody and make sure that it's, you know, it's appropriate for them. Okay, let me say this in Albanian, okay, uh, because I think this first step is very important. Uh, uh, so I'm going to speak in Albanian real right? well, quick. Sure. Um, when I hop you bar to Clintondale International School, it's in the PSA Clintondale Community School District, in Michigan State. Hop in a bar, check out the Shiron, preach to students, para se tu vendos in classet for to. For the more creative the class, the eventualist shown the domain schools as well. That domain should evaluate for the person nivel in the DS to why the John English than the mathematic. Okay. So the top is how to part the two brush or the distortion. I don't call us in that verse, but for you, as I don't call us in that verse, that the distortion. The Lersini is test online plus test on Skype. And if you want to register, you can see the Tambushnik form. The team is going to be contacted. We will have to find the registration form. And we will do the test online. The test is in Mathematics and English. So, for that, we will be able to do the test online. At her look at get interviews in Skype. Now, for me, for me, when we are testing online, at her do you face another one Skype? Either do you do you face them? Me, me, you be. So, at point of the year, evaluate oral. We are going to evaluate ah, from audio. Okay. And then, who are famous? Is part of the doors. So, part of the security. So, you in general. To watch Donny, to make any class there, I pull you. Okay. Because I don't want to fall apart. But as I watch Donny class there, do a part of it. I need to evaluate. I put the score. I need to test. I got district in Michigan State Clinton Community Schools. Okay. I said that. I repeated that a few times, Greg, and hopefully it's clear for everybody. If not, they will probably. Bombard me with emails. <laughs> sure, you know, Ribbon. I, I tell you what. Can you imagine students in Albania and Kosovo, or you know, where your Almuk is? Imagine them. They 
before they had to travel to the United States, get a visa, you know, go through trying to find a host family, trying to, you know, all those things. And now with the power of your Al MOOC, we can just simply offer it right from their own home. Right. I mean, can imagine that you're getting a U.S. diploma and offering that right from your own home. I mean, it's amazing what the you know what what we can do these days and connect you know our our two entities and you know I'm just I'm super excited about it. I think I think you know yeah, is- imagine what kids could do in the United States. They go to school in the United States. They have a U.S. diploma. It's so much easier applying to the United States and. And having a you know transcripts that you know the U.S. officials understand, and and they have a diploma from a U.S. high school, and and even the you know the opportunity to you know credit classes that they've already taken. So you know it's just it's it's really the best of all worlds. It's really you know being here almost it's like being here in the United States going to high school right through your El Mook. And and just so you guys know, uh, El Mook will be the one organizing the graduation party, which will happen in the United States uh, if people reach out the finish line, which is getting a U.S. high school diploma. This will be our pride to our students, and we will uh, organize a trip for everybody to come and uh, join a graduation party or graduation ceremony. once we get there, I know there's a lot of work ahead of us, uh, but this is the path to get to the graduation. Uh, we're um, gonna have a big, we're gonna have a big party. Yeah, I, I think we should. Really yeah, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a big party right at right at our school, and you know, and uh, it, it, it's gonna be a great day. I'm telling you, you're gonna have lots of kids finish. It's not, it's not, it's not too difficult. I think, um, yeah. you know, it's gonna be a great, great event for your. Uh, for your students and families, imagine you know the opportunity your families have now with their kids. So it's it's pretty yeah. exciting. I just can't. I'm so excited. I keep talking about it. So I was, sorry for interrupting. No, no worries. So and and again, the most important part of this career path is for you to have access uh, to other schools across Europe and in the United States. If yeah. you have a U.S. diploma, your chances are much higher to get accepted at a U.S. University, and then pursue your career. Uh, so this is really the, the one of the key points for you to move on to the next step in your career. Um, all right, so I guess, uh, let's see, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. Stop sharing, here we go, I think I stopped. And uh, let's see if, uh, uh, there's a lot of questions here, so I'm gonna go back. And I know Google Hangout will play the audio a little bit late, so there's a 10 seconds lag, I think, right? Okay. So we'll see if, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, I'll try to read the questions as, uh, as much as I can. And then uh, there's questions in English, there, there are questions in Albanian, so I will translate. <laughs> okay, Albanian. that's fine. Uh, and let me, let me just uh, refresh one more time to see. There's more questions coming in. I know this will come at one time. So, okay. So I'm going to scroll at the bottom and start the questions from the bottom. And some of them we might have already answered in our discussion. All right. This one is in Albanian. Uh, It says, hi, I am interested to study in your country. Uh, I, visiting Michigan is a dream for me. Ah. This guy uh, has, or it looks like a guy or a lady. The name is real interesting. Um, uh, so, he's uh, saying, he or she is saying, uh, since I don't have anybody in the United States, uh, uh, is this the possibility or the opportunity for me to come and study there in the United States? Um, if you. Uh, Okay, so he's talking about the student visa, which means that uh, uh, for now, so again, everybody, the the initial phase for you to get a U.S. high school diploma is to a look in your own country. Uh, however, once you finish, then you can apply to U.S. universities, okay? 
Uh, and I, like I said, a lot of the students in our MOOC have already completed some of the courses. Therefore, they can go and apply. Let me let me do this in Albania one more time. Let me explain that. Okay? Sure. Okay. Sure. So, uh, so for Jetata, Chalimi al MOOC just accredited to Michigan State is to offer Munsin Chetemeni Yetipion to Shkola Semesme in America. Who you have do a passate appliconi for universitet, uh, who said that she was a filial of a partner, uh, Continental Community School, me po mund apiku me gjdo universitet na Amerikë u shumë sa kanë shumë më lojë që të futesh në universitet. Pastaj, njëra se si vini në Amerikë e ashtë që në nërë, a nuk do të kjetë departementin e sajtë dhe qanë për studentës që është personë të studionë në qëtetë bashkua, Mi po një, po aza parë, për të marë një diplom shkollës mesme është për mes alumukut për i vendit ku je, kjo është online, ok? It's an online, është një, mësim dhe një online, për klasët që i shqipë një, për klasët që i keni pa matematikë, fizikë, kemi në alumuk, ato klasë janë të akredituara, ok? Naturisht në fund të klasës, do të tjetë një test final, e cili test në versohën nga ekipa e Continental Community School, ok? All right, so I explained that. The next one. Ok, so this one, this is a lady, I mean a male, so he is just asking about, he is also expressing a very high interest at studying from a school that is from Michigan State. And also, he's asking how do I go ahead and apply about it. So I will go ahead and uh, reply to this. But uh, I'm not sharing the screen right now. If you, miss, uh, I'll say it in Albanian and, uh, because the, the question is in Albanian. Sure. Mr. Shkonte Clintondale International School. Okay, Picon. Ose Futesh Lark Tricote Accreditini, to the Butoni Lark na Anmedia. A tu do ketë një link që të të regjistrohu për të kualifikuar. A jo të dërgon të një pikë një një faqe e Contendale, faqe zhëtar e Contendale International School, edhe aty e mbush një formular edhe ekipa e gregit do të të kontaktoj. All right, next one. Okay, so this one is the question that we actually answered. It's, he's talking about uh, what are the criteria uh, to uh, get a U.S. high school diploma, and what is the process to transfer the transcripts? Uh, now, again, for everybody that applies, we will go ahead and email everybody the process, what it takes to get a high school diploma from Clintondale International School. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, I'm going to talk to this guy, Eno Buka, Mr. Shkon de Registro. Mësë shkonë të e një linku akreditimi dhe pastaj klikot të registro këtu të Continental International School nëse e registro që aty nga do të ekipa gregi do të ju kontaktoj me halpa të nërbjën. And same question again. And then let's see. This one is a different question for a different academy. Same question again. Expressing high interest and what is the process? So I guess um, everybody wanted to know the process, what it takes. So we'll get, we're going to email everybody that uh, page that I just shared the screen, uh, and then Greg, you can uh, verify some of the material in there. So when we email that, everybody is on the same page. Yeah. So uh, just just to you know elaborate, you know, um, you know, we first take an assessment and see where everybody's at. We have the graduation requirements, obviously they're required by state law. And then once you complete those graduation requirements by state law, then what we do is we issue you a diploma and American transcripts. So you'll have those American transcripts in your hands, you know, once, um, once you complete the, complete the program. So I, I'm sharing this with one more time. I think it's important maybe to put the, this link here big so people can see it. This is uh, a very important link for everybody to register. And you will you will also be able to register inside the academy if you allow, if you go inside any of the academies. And 
for, for people that have, have already registered, please wait for uh, Greg's team email. They will send email probably tonight or tomorrow, and then you will you will receive uh, instructions how to proceed. Uh, let me say that in Albania real quick. Okay? Um, for student, let's say that you are a that link to link to, after printing email, the equip a grade, so the answer, after the delivery email, for uh, how about VM, such for do thunder many, but uh, more testing online. Uh, the key by grade with you to go your email. Okay, so again, the important link, clintondaleschool.com. It will take you here. And then here, click on the left side, it says get started. I know we have received uh, close to 400 registrations in the last week or so. Is that right? Wow. Wow. So around that, so hopefully, um, I know the number should be in 2000s because uh, our MOOC community is very active and it's a, a great community. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of, maybe a, a lot of students have already finished high school. Now, one more thing, you know, if, if you want to get a accredited U.S. high school, even if you have finished high school and you completed the courses at Al MOOC, you can still go there and say, hey, listen, I completed the courses, I want accreditation for these courses, and I want to get a U.S. high school diploma. So you have two diplomas, one in your own country, one in the U.S., which will give you access to uh, you know, apply to universities. That's the advantage. So I just wanted to throw that in there. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the questions. Uh, I'm sharing the screen, by the way, Greg, so I, you can see the questions as well. Um, oh, okay. They're in Albanian, so it's going to be hard. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one is saying after I finish the grade eight, I want to actually uh, maybe. I would like to transfer in the United States. Uh, and I finish the school over there. So this is a question that I've had via email as well. So Greg, let me ask you this. For students that have the money <laughs> to come and accommodate in the United States and continue, I don't know, they finish maybe two years in El MOOC and the other two years they want to come somewhere in the US and maybe at your own school and, and finish. What, what do you have an international department for international students? Yeah, I mean, we we uh, would work with the uh, Homeland Security, you know, office in the United States, and they would work with the visa, you know, work with the country, you know, the student and their visa. And then, you know, they would obviously have enough income or money to stay here, and then they would be, they could be part of our school. So it's a little bit, you know, it's a process that, you know, we'd have to work through, you know, with that student, but, you know, we're certainly open to, those types of things and I think you know we as this relationship goes you know you know strengthens and our partnership is more solidified over time I think I think that's a okay. certainly an opportunity certainly a possibility that we can look at very nice okay and I'm, I'm assuming students that uh, take courses at our MOOC and register for this program will have a better chance to get approved yeah because we'll know what they're what they're capable of and we'll have kind of a a screening process. It's you know we we would um, directly through the Al MOOC because we know what classes you know they're they've taken and the the rigor that they've they've, they've uh, you know taken it with. So we want to make sure that you know we we accept a student that has been that would qualify in our high school. We want to do is send them to a great college as well. Great. Yep. Very nice. Uh, now the next question it talks about accounting. This is a this a question. This question is not about uh, the high school, so I'm gonna skip that. I will answer that separate. Uh, I'm interested in studying Michigan and United States. What opportunities? I guess if um, we already answered this, uh, this was in English, and you you guys can watch the recording if you have missed this. Uh, uh, so this is already recorded and embedded in that same page, which is this page here at the top. Uh, which are the conditions that we should have to study there? So we talked about the criteria to complete the ALMO courses. Now, of course, if you complete a U.S. high school here, and uh, we will, I mean, if you complete the U.S. Uh, high school through ALMO, which you get a U.S. high school diploma, uh, then there is a process that uh, our MOOC 
is going to drive if you want to apply for a university. And of course, with the partnership at Michigan, uh, with, the, with Greg's team and Clintondale Community District, we will you know, we'll share some of the ideas on how we can get you guys to universities in the US. So, okay, uh, eighth grade. So, oh, that's that's a good question, Raymond. Can I join? Yep. That's a good question. Yes, uh, you know, you can start taking high school classes in eighth grade, and you may be able to even graduate early. So, you, know, yeah. you may have a U.S. diploma before you even graduate from your own high school in your country. So, you know, that could be that yeah, could be an advantage as well. Okay. Next question is, how can I join this awesome school? So I'm going to repeat that message. I think it's important. So uh, everybody, uh, you should be able to go to this link that says ClintonDaleSchool.com, okay? And by the way, Greg, when people log in to the academy, any of the academies in our MOOC, there's a message that comes up so people can fill in that, uh, that form, okay? So they, they won't be able to miss it. But for people that, you know, wants to know one more time, you go to ClintonDale School and then, which will take you here, Okay, and then click on get started from the left side here, and then fill up this form. Once you fill out this form, you will have to wait until Greg's team reaches out to you, which uh, hopefully today and tomorrow. Okay, and I saw the next question, which is similar. This one's in Albania. It says, I'm already registered, uh, but what are the criteria to win? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, uh, I guess if you pass the English and math, then you're good to go. You can move on to the other courses. So that's right. Yep. Okay. So let's see. There's three more coming in. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Okay. Hello, Mr. Green. Who can actually be registered at this amazing school? So who can? I guess uh, Greg, if you can go over it one more time. Well, I mean, we can. We, we can register, you know, current high school students, uh, students that have already graduated from high school and are looking for a second diploma from high school, um, even eighth grade students, as we talked about, you know, they can, uh, there's um, really no, you know, certain limits, maybe seventh grade, eighth grade, you know, but I think, you know, I mean, we can, we can, we're going to be flexible and we're going to work with, with the Al MOOC because we think, you know, we just we are so excited about this partnership and the flexibility it gives us and you guys. So, you know, we're going to work with most situations uh, favorably. Great. Great. So I'm going to say that in Albania, I think that's important because I see another question at the top, which is the yeah. same. Um, so, uh, so, Mosha, for to register, is the best place to do it. We have a lot of places in the world, we have a lot of Completoi the in class in the Tundiet, it's the Ocean Almuk. We complete on class the email school and the program school semester in America. Okay, next one seems to be a more sophisticated question. I can answer some of that as well. Uh, are the accredited courses of Almuk equivalent to TOEFL, GRE, GMAT, etc.? Can a student from Kosovo, Albania enroll? University in university, I guess, with the accredited courses math, code, and physics and chemistry. So I'll I'll go first, Greg, and then feel free to jump in and add to this. Um, sure, sure. So the courses that Al, at Almuk that were approved by the Clintonville Community Schools are courses that it's it will be equivalent as if you finish those courses in in in, in Clintonville School in Clintonville High School. So as far as is it equivalent to TOEFL, if you get a U.S. high school diploma, and Greg, uh, you know, Greg will probably knows a lot more about this. So if you get a U.S. high school diploma, then you can get to a college without a TOEFL because you finished it from a, a U.S. accredited institution. Is that right, Greg, uh, when you go to university? Yeah, I mean, in most cases, that's that's true. I mean, it's, you know, if they, if sometimes they might ask you, you know, where you reside or – you know, they may have you jump through a few more hoops, but they feel pretty, they feel really confident if you, if you graduate from a U.S. high school that you, 
you uh, can speak the language fluently or, and also, um, you know, can come to America and go to school. So that's why we, we want to offer this great opportunity because, you know, if you didn't have that, then they would make you jump through all the hoops. And it's, you know, sometimes it's very difficult to get into an American university without an American diploma. Got it. Okay. All right. And the last question at the top, do we have an age limit? I guess we already talked about it. So eighth grade and above, right? Uh, people can register. Yeah, I mean, you, you could have students who are really bright that are young and want to start their high school experience a little bit earlier. But I would say, you know, from seventh, seventh grade would be the cutoff to eighth grade, you know, and then up through, you know, who, you know, graduates who have already graduated from high school that would like to maybe come to the United States and like to take part in university. So I think it's, um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, we're, like I said, we're going to, we're working with Al Mook, you know, as, as things come up, we're going to, we're going to tackle those issues and we're going to, we're going to make sure that, you know, students are very, very successful. Awesome. I think we're out of questions. Let me just stop sharing the screen real quick. Uh, so, you guys can see me. Okay. Um, I guess we, we have a few more minutes left. Um, uh, and this session has been recorded. So for you guys that have missed it, uh, you, you can watch the recording. And I'll also follow up with an email um, for everybody if they are interested to register for the uh, pre-assessment, uh, which is uh, the evaluation process. And we'll send out that link one more time. Uh, so you can go on with that. Uh, Greg, you want to you say something at the end? And I think we can wrap it up early. No, well, I, you know, I think that, you know, it's this is a great opportunity not only for you, but for Quiddale. I think, you know, we, we have a chance to, to uh, you know, have our diploma as an international diploma. It's uh, something that we'll have, you know, a network of people who graduate from our school throughout the world. And it truly is a global a global opportunity for us and also for you guys. And so we're excited that what this diploma means to you and the opportunity the United States and colleges have to offer. But we think equally how exciting it is that we'll actually have alumni overseas and uh, people that, you know, have, you know, we're Clintondale, the Dragons, you know, the whole works, you know, are, you know, I mean, it's just a great opportunity. And Bridget, thank you so much for opening up this opportunity for us and Al Mook and, and all all your representatives. I think this is uh, just a, simply the start of something great. And I think it'll be great for us and students and, and hopefully for you guys. Great. I'll tell you this. It's, uh, the journey of Al Mook has been nothing but amazing. It's been a, a great, exciting journey by all the staff that took Al Mook up to here. And at the end, we see the partnership with the Continental Community School as a uh, a gift after all of this hard work. So we're honored uh, to actually be partners with you. Thank you so much for uh, going through this process with us and approving it. Uh, I'm sure everybody back, uh, the whole community is excited that we'll receive, like I said, numerous of emails, and if not hundreds, uh, and a lot of Facebook messages. You know, people <laughs> just want to ask. Them. So yeah. I think it's a great opportunity uh, for learning in general to give access to students of our MOOC, uh, from, you know, give access to learn from the best in the United States uh, and then open their doors to, to go to colleges and, and pursue their career. So thank you so much for being a part of this and also for uh, approving our MOOC to be your accredited partner. Well, thanks so much for having me and I look forward to all the students. Come on out, come on aboard. You know, we're ready for you. So, you know, we think, uh, we think uh, so. I guess we think we're, uh, we're super excited about it. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, let's uh, wait for the party, the graduation party. I guess, uh, and uh, I think I look forward to that. So, uh, thank you, Greg, for the time for the day. Uh, enjoy the rest of the day. I know it's uh, only midday, so. Uh, well, thank you. Soon. All right, bye, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Bye, 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 bye now. Bye bye.